We are seeing new body cam video from another Utah officer who responded to a domestic incident involving Gabby Petito and her fiance Brian Laundrie. Watching it, we learn more about the fight between Gabby and Brian on August 12th, weeks before her death. As Fox 13's Jennifer Holton explains, it's raising new concerns by domestic violence experts over whether the situation could have been handled differently. So there's two people that came to us and told us that they saw him hit you. A nearly hour-long video obtained by Fox 13 shows Gabby Petito telling Moab police officer Eric Pratt that Brian Laundrie hit her before backtracking, then claiming she struck first. We want to know the truth if he actually hit you. Because, you know... I guess, yeah, but I hit him first. He didn't, like, hit me in the face. Like, you know, like... Mindy Murphy, who leads Tampa's Certified Domestic Violence Center, says this video depicts a clear-cut case of battered woman syndrome. To me, it is, absolutely. Uh, you know, survivors are repeatedly told that they're making a big deal out of nothing. Listen as Gabby explains the fight. Did he slap your face or what? Well, like, he, like, grabbed me, like, with his nail, and I guess that's why it was, I definitely have a cut right here. It's like a peel of yeah. like, it burns. Murphy says in that moment there, police had a prime opportunity to further question Gabby when she said Brian put his hands on her face. That would have been a perfect opportunity to law enforcement for law enforcement to ask, has he done this before? Has he ever put his hands around your neck? Has he ever tried to restrict your airflow? Because if he's done that before and he's doing that now, that's going to immediately trigger anxiety and, and fear in, in, you know, in Gabby's part. Moab police ultimately declined to charge Gabby with domestic assault, though she was deemed to be the primary aggressor. Instead, they drove Brian to a hotel to separate them for the night. Now, of course, police have no way of knowing Gabby would be killed weeks later. And while investigators have named Brian as a person of interest in her disappearance, they haven't named anyone suspected of causing her death. But Murphy says if Moab police had asked more questions, Questions, then maybe the ending would have been different. If they'd asked questions about what happened 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour before, um, what's happened over the past months, they might have gotten a different um, outcome altogether. Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. Earlier this week, the city of Moab released a statement that an unaffiliated law enforcement agency launched a formal investigation into the Moab Police Department's handling of the August 12th incident with Petito and Laundry. The